Hi, I'm Danielle Goldberg, and we're in Los Angeles for a new episode of Style SOS, where we solve season's fashion dilemmas. Today's dilemma is how to style denim. From classic blue jeans to elevated denim, I'm gonna show you new ways to style your jeans for the summer season. So let's get started. The first style I'm gonna be talking about today is classic denim. The classic blue jean is a wardrobe staple. The different washes that it comes in is what makes the styling different for each kind. Today I'm wearing a pair of A. Goldie jeans that have a light wash denim, and whenever I wear light wash denim, I love to pair it with white. Today I paired it with a white button down from The Row and a pearl necklace from Wake. I really love the simplicity of this look and that it can go from day to night. Another staple I love to pair with my classic blue jean is a black blazer. This black blazer is from a brand called Totem. For me, this is the ultimate classic blue jean look. One of my favorite things about styling a classic blue jean is the juxtaposition of wearing something a little bit dressier with it and playing with that idea of something that feels super casual and then pairing it with something that feels a little bit more elevated. So bringing in these black Balenciaga flat sandals is a nice juxtaposition for the look. But if you're more of a heel girl, I love these Nia's heels and I think that they're a great way to dress up the classic blue jean look and have it still feel casual and cool. Another great classic staple in everybody's wardrobe is a white t-shirt, and you can't go wrong with a white t-shirt and a classic blue jean. Next up is white denim, and I'm a big fan of tonal dressing, wearing a lot of variations of a color in a full look. Um, today, I'm wearing these B-side jeans. One of my favorite ways of styling a high-waisted denim is with a button-down, and ideally, when it has this kind of shape, you can leave it open so that you can show where your waist hits. I think it's a really flattering detail and a different way to wear your button-down shirt when you're pairing it with your denim. I love this kind of look for an early dinner in the summer. I think that it feels casual, it feels cool, but it still feels dressed up. Again, I love a flat. These from the row are definitely a favorite. When doing a full tonal look, I love the idea of having a bit more fun with my accessories. So along with these gold Jennifer Fisher earrings, I like the idea of pairing it with this Hueve bucket hat because who doesn't want a bucket hat? For daytime, I love the idea of pairing this look with an oversized bag and I love this chocolate brown Bottega shoulder bag. I think that the brown plays so nicely with then the beige and the white, and I just think overall the tonal feeling from the accessories, you can really keep going. There's really no end to what you can bring into the look to make it feel more yours. The next style that we're gonna be looking at is double denim. I think that double denim can be a bit overwhelming because of the amount of denim in the look. I think it's really important to balance it out by layering it with something light, like this R13 button down. It peaks out the top, it comes out the bottom, and that fluidity kind of breaks up the look. This Lueve denim jacket is really cute and boxy. I love the idea of trying it over something like a mini dress or short shorts. These row sneakers are great because they're super lightweight for summer, but they kind of have a finished look and they feel a little bit less athletic. Another great way of layering double denim is to pick an item that peeks out from the top of the jacket rather than the bottom. And I love the idea of this Nanushka turtleneck that's sleeveless so you still feel lightweight and you're not too hot in the summer, but it creates a dimension within the look. When styling double denim, you wanna pick an accessory that breaks up the look. I love the idea of pairing this row bag that's actually originally a shoulder bag, but kind of cool to wear it as a messenger bag to break up the heaviness of the denim. Anything you can do to create dimension when you're wearing double denim is gonna be the perfect style key to getting that look. Our final look is elevated denim and I can't think of a better way to close it out. I love wearing jeans at night. I love these A. Goldie black high-waisted jeans. I think that they're transitional and I love that they kind of hug the hip in all the right places. I paired it with this Annie Bing black tank top. I love the shape 
of how delicate the shirt is with the bagginess of the jeans. I think, again, when it comes to denim, it's all about juxtaposition. So to lead with that, I paired it with these Giambito Rossi sandals that lace up. They're sexy, but also incredibly comfortable and great for a night out. Ultimately with denim, it's all about the small details, whether it's, you know, a piece of jewelry or a collar, it's all about the details. And that's the most important, especially when you're wearing it at night. When elevating denim, shoes are your best friend. I love the idea of pairing this look alternatively with these Magda Boutram black boots. This boot kind of creates a really cool linear shape with the look. Another great way to elevate your denim look is through beauty, and I think lipstick always has the strongest impact. I love NARS lipstick, and this color is called Charlotte, and it's a really beautiful brick red. This is my elevated denim look. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope your style SOS dilemma has been solved.